Hey, it's Tony and welcome to my Motivational Monday Moment. We are talking today about how you can get past what are obstacles in your life and you just feel like you can't get past it and how once you find the tools to get past it, you find a reward on the other side of that. And the reason I'm talking about this is we have two life events going on in my family in the next couple weeks. At the end of this week, my husband is graduating from community college and my daughter is graduating from eighth grade in the middle of next week. There have been challenges along the way with these two, with their education. And I'm going to start first with my husband. My husband, now you have to understand, he's 50 now, okay? Five years ago, at 45, he went to college. And it's what caused him to go to college that I think is one of the most inspirational parts about this story. So as you all know, in 2000, around 2008, the whole economy just went to pot. People lost their jobs. People had to file for bankruptcy. People lost everything and had to start all over. And we got caught up in that. Now, the reason why we get caught up in that is, well, there was a multitude of reasons, but one thing is my husband's a severe depressive. We don't hide that fact. We're actually open about it because it helps him in dealing with it plus we don't believe in hiding that because once you start hiding things it's like you're ashamed about it and there is no reason to be ashamed for mental mental illness plus we're open about it and we have had people come talk to us about us going hey you know i have a family member that suffers from that or i suffer from that and so it gets communication going and becomes more open and more accepted i don't know if that's the right word but you know what i mean anyway my husband suffers from severe depression. Now, when that whole economy downfall was going on, my husband's depression got really, really bad to the point where, I mean, it was bad. And he actually left his job with 17 and a half years because he couldn't work anymore. He, he could not work there anymore. So he left and luckily he found another job. But they did, um, after a while, they did a total restructuring of that job. So he lost his job again. And then we were having to deal with the depression. He couldn't work. We were getting things going and we ended up losing our house. So we ended up moving. We uprooted everyone, moved to a whole new town. And during all that, you know, we found ourselves in a totally different place that we did not expect to find ourselves. And my husband did not know what to do. He's trying, trying to deal with his depression. And he just doesn't know what to do. He did this job for almost 20 years and you're starting all over in the workforce. What do you do? Well, we had found out that through Goodwill, there are computer classes and resume building and that sort of, they have all these things that help you get to a point where you can get a job and it's totally free. So we went to one of their career centers and my husband went, I think he went to help with the resume, but then he saw the classes and they're like, oh, it's totally free. And they were good computer classes. So he went and he took these classes. And now my husband, to me, my husband is one of the smartest people I've ever met. And I have tried to go to get him to go to college, but he did not believe that he was smart enough. Now, 18 year old Henry, totally different from this Henry. Okay. He's older. He appreciates things more. You know, you're out of high school and you think, Oh, you know, I don't need to do this. I don't need to do this. You know everything, which you don't. And so I'm thinking, okay, you know, 18 year old Henry may have not done well in college because he had other ideas of what he wanted to do with his life. But this version of Henry, you know, back when we were going through all this, he was ready for this. He was ready for this. And so he took these classes and he got A's. He got A's and then found out he gets college credit for these classes. So that got him to thinking, wow, they're, I got college credit and I got A's. Well, maybe I can do this. So we went to the college. Well, he went to the college, started talking to people, found out he could get financial aid to help him with the classes. And he started doing it. And for the past five years, he's been taking at least one class every semester, fall, spring, summer, he did this. He took this block he had of, I am not smart enough for college. I will suck at college. I got bad grades. Well, not bad grades in high school, but they were not, you know, 
great grades, you know, how we all were in high school. We just wanted to get out of there. Anyway, so he had that block of he could not do good in school. He wouldn't do good in college. But this time around, he was grateful for the opportunity. He took advantage of every every option they had, tutoring, the writing center. He realized he's great in English. He's great at writing papers. You know, he realized he's really good in this. And he did it a little bit at a time. And here he is five years later. My husband is graduating from community college. He will be going on to NAU to finish his, uh, to get his four year degree from them. But my husband is graduating with honors. He's part of the honor college. He got a 4.0. So Basically, he wants to do be an advocate. And he's amazing in that because my husband is a fighter. Now, another fighter we have in the house is my daughter. My daughter is 14 and graduating from eighth grade and has, a, has had a really good education life up to this point. But this past year was the one that really tested her because we live in Arizona. And I'm sure nationwide you've all heard about how there are states fighting, the teachers are fighting for pay and for funding for the schools. Arizona is one of those really involved in the red for ed movement. And it really hit Arizona hard this year to the point where there are not enough teachers in Arizona. Arizona, I thought was 49th out of the U S in pay for teachers. And it really came to a head this year. We did not have enough teachers to we didn't have enough teachers this year. We did not have enough teachers in the school district, in the state, for every kid to get a licensed teacher in their subject. My daughter, for the most part, science and math. That was the issue, science and math. <sighs> we had teachers who didn't come back. We had teachers that quit a few weeks into it. We had teachers who were not a teacher in that subject. They actually, um, we realized that Arizona does this thing called emergency certification where you can take someone and give them emergency certification because there is no one else to fill that position. And that's what happened in one of these core subjects. And so it was really hard all the way around. I did not blame the teachers. They were doing the best that they could. Everybody was in over their head. And my child, eighth grade, going into high school, core classes, you know, you gotta test into these classes. In high school, she was so afraid. She was so afraid. And we went and we did tutoring and we tried to help her. And my husband tried to help her and it was hard. But she managed to get through the year and she got really good grades. My daughter's on honor roll. My daughter is very involved in school. And she learned this year that when you are handed lemons, you make lemonade. You know, I was constantly telling her, okay, what is going on? What can you do about it? How can you change your situation? Because the school does a certain part, but then there's things we can do. We can do tutoring. You can go online. You know, we have the internet now. You can find out anything. And so she learned how to use those tools to, on her end, better herself. She's graduating here in a week and a half, going to high school. And I'm very, very proud of her. She's done amazing. And while her math score is not where she wants to, she's determined to work on this in high school because she actually wants to finish early in high school, as most kids do, because you want to get out and get on with your life. But adversity, they faced challenges, both of them, you know, and they learned okay, they're the ones who's got to do all the work. They're going to go out there and figure out what can they do. My husband went one class at a time, managed to get that degree he wanted. 
my daughter got very involved in school. My husband also got involved and became, since he wants to be an advocate, went and was an advocate for these kids. He was the one going to the principals and the school board meetings and saying, hey, what are we going to do for the kids? You can't just brush this under. And if you have a chance, you know what? Google Arizona schools. The teachers went on strike for like a week. It was crazy. I will insert a picture if I can here. I was at work and I'm looking in the news because we had heard that the teachers were going to the state capitol to march and they show this picture of downtown Phoenix and you used to see all this red because it's red for Ed and they were wearing red shirts and one of my coworkers goes, what is that? And I'm like, those are all the teachers. From what they were saying on the news radio, 50,000 teachers got together to march. It was amazing. It was so inspiring. And I totally support those teachers because our education is so important. There are people out there who don't have kids or their kids are grown and they're like, well, it's not going to affect me. It is going to affect you. It's going to affect all of us because these kids are going to become our leaders. These kids are going to be in legislator, in legislation. They're going to be making our rules. They're going to be our bosses. They're going to be in charge of programs that are going to affect us and our future generations. So we need to make sure education is key here in Arizona. And um, from what I understand, the whole goal is they're going to get a 20% raise in two years, which is great. They need that because these teachers are awesome. And one thing I hated when I, I got to know my daughter's teachers through the years. And so many of these teachers have two, three jobs just to support themselves and to be able to afford the things that their kids needs. I don't understand how you can go to work to five and then go to another job, get home by midnight, grade your papers, do everything you do to prepare for the next day. You're not getting that much sleep. You're not, but these teachers do it and I appreciate it. They face adversity and they fought and they got past it and they also rewarded. So, hey, Arizona teachers, great. We support you and thank you for doing that for our kids. So that's what this Motivational Monday moment is about. It's about facing that adversity and fighting it. It is a hard fight. It really is. And it's so easy to give up. It's so easy to give up. My husband could have stuck with the belief that he didn't think he could do college. And I don't know where he would be if he had done that. This has been great for him. It's given him that motivation. We still deal with the depression, but that aspect of he's not smart enough is gone. It's gone. He knows he's smart enough now. My daughter, my daughter realized you can make a difference. You can help yourself out, but you have to put the work into it. And there was only teachers. They stood their ground, they fought it, and they got what they should have gotten years ago. Like I said, Google Arizona teachers, it's a shame what our legislators have done to our teachers in taking money that was earmarked for them and used it for other things instead of giving it to the teachers. So we're there for you guys. So that's my Monday motivational video. If I can get you guys to like the video and hit the red button to subscribe so you can see when I upload more videos and actually I really need subscribers. That would help me a lot if you could subscribe. And there's actually a notification bell. If you hit that, it will actually alert you when I do an upload. I'm going to link my Motivational Monday series here and my channel there. You guys see my dogs, they all say hi. You guys got this, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.